Hey guys, it's Big Bernie Cool here. I'm just about to go to Global Force Wrestling. Uh, I think it's hashtag GFW uh, Grand Slam Tour or something like that. Um, I'm pumped for this. I just got a little bit of a walk yet. I'm already at kind of like where the stadium is. I just don't feel like paying for parking, so I live around here. So I know how to get around it and everything. So that's what I'm doing. So I just got a little bit of a walk and then I'll be there. So yeah, let's go. Oh, look at all this nature. I have to fucking walk through for free parking. Uh, there's a guy over where I usually park. Um, this is the Tim Rattler Stadium that the show's at. And I usually park a little closer. And I'm able to walk pretty easily through there. But uh, there's someone over there doing some shit. So I didn't want to, like, raise any alarm. So, yeah. Walk through all this shit. There's a bunny over there. I don't know if you guys see that. But yeah. There we go. All right, so now we're just about to go over this bridge. And from this bridge, we can probably see the ring and everything. Uh, there's a highway down there, Highway 41. So yeah, I'll get it when we can see everything. So I'm crossing this bridge. Got traffic here. God damn, it's loud as hell. I couldn't kind of see the ring over there. Not so much though. Is that the red apron? I can't tell what color the, uh, the uh, turnbuckles are or whatever. Yeah, somewhere in there. Um, if I can't find tickets, I'm probably, or like, obviously I don't think it'll be sold out. Just if it is, I will be watching from up there then. <laughs> so yeah. Boom. Oh god, of course they play this song. Oh, is that a Finn Balor shirt? That's a Finn Balor shirt. Tradition day. 7.30 bell time. And the jobber ring. Jesus. That's a terrible ring. But they do have the turnbuckles. They have the uh, Wisconsin outline with the W in it. That's pretty neat. Did they just... Yeah. Uh, not a big turnout so far. Ladies and gentlemen, the opening contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Oh, come on. Time limits. Oh, ref gets his own music. Just kidding. Is that Byron Saxon right there? <laughs> Byron Saxon chant? Oh, he's gonna kick his ass. Get him, ref. On his way to the ring. This is Aria Devare or not Aria, yeah. Aria, <laughs> yeah. already hopping on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring Axel. Axel will kick his ass. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got to be in here at some point. Wow, this is not that we good of a Eugene. turnout. We need we need Nick Dismore. We need you, Dean, to get his Nick revenge. Dismore? Dude, I tweeted him a couple days ago. WrestleMania 21 revenge. After they
know who I am? I'm Eric Young. Here we go. I understand that this is a state that refers to itself as the G's heads, but take that crap out of your ears and pay good attention to what I'm about to tell you. Oh God! Byron Saxon, get out of there! Let's get some facts on the table, Eric, y'all. First off. Thank you to each and every one of you who came to the Global Force Wrestling. That's a pretty big win Rusev got. He's a former WWE Tag Team Champion. Money shot right there. Hey guys, so this is going to be the end of the day in the life. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't get much footage um, towards the end of the show. At intermission, I was filming like a uh, uh, first half review of the show with Voices of the Voiceless. And my phone just went bonkers from there. Like, while it it was recording us, my phone just completely froze. It went from like 15% to 2%. And um, yeah, that that um, that part of it didn't save on my phone at all. I had to restart my phone and everything. And then when my phone's under 5%, it won't let me film at all. So I couldn't get anything from intermission. Um, I couldn't get anything from uh, uh, the Champa, Tommaso Champa versus Magnus match. I couldn't get anything from Hacksaw's uh, little promo. And then uh, during Hacksaw's promo, Arya Davari came out and Hacksaw did his USA thing. And yeah, you guys have probably seen it before. And um, I couldn't get anything from the main event, uh, which was Bullet Club versus, like, uh, I forgot. Uh, I think their name's like Ohio is for killing or something like that. They're just known as OI4K, something like that. I think they're CZW champions. But yeah, um, I couldn't get anything from like the last half of the show or anything. I couldn't film anything from right after. But um, uh, let's talk about this for a little bit. Um, I got to meet Hacksaw. I got to meet Doc Gallows. And I got to meet Cole Cabana. Um, I kind of got worked out of some money because. Um, I did buy this Bullet Club shirt. I dropped 25 bucks on it. That was at the Global Force Wrestling like merch table, and um, I didn't know. Well, like when you walk in, that merch table is the first thing you see, and then you get over by where uh, the Bullet Club um, Bullet Club members are, which were uh, Carl Anderson, and Doc Gallows for tonight. I guess they had their own Bullet Club shirts for 20 bucks. And these guys didn't even have my size. I'd get a size uh, smaller so I can work myself to fit into it. But um, I guess they must have had one that's my size. My size. There's where I believe 20 bucks. So instead of 25, I could have paid 20 there. And then with that, I could have got a picture with um, uh, Doc Gallows and his IWGP belt. I could have been wearing it. But um, no, I didn't buy anything from them. So... I just took a regular picture with them. They would they didn't let me take one with the belt, so I kind of got worked in that. So that's five bucks. And then with Colt Cabana, uh, he had his little merch. He had Colt Merch dot Baseball dot something. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what he was calling it, but um, yeah. Um, it said ten dollars for a photo, so I thought ten dollars for a photo with Colt Cabana, I'll take it. But it turns out that it was for like an eight by ten photo, and I didn't know that. So I gave him ten bucks said I'd like a photo and then he asked which one I'm like oh I just want one with you and um 
I didn't realize till a minute later that he actually, I guess I didn't hear him or something like that, that he asked which one. So he got a $10 donation from me. So yeah, I still met Coco Banner, so that's fine. And then Hacksaw I met for free. I just, we just went up there, asked for a picture, got one. So um, yeah, there's that. Overall, really fun show. I hope you guys like the footage that I got, and I hope they come back. And I hope there's more uh, pro wrestling events in this area, because that's one thing that this northeastern Wisconsin area is lacking, is pro wrestling. So I do hope they come back, and I do hope that uh, something comes out of this. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later then.